You are listening to the number one self-improvement podcast on the planet. You, but better. Warning, this podcast may cause success, happiness, self-actualization, inspiration, manifestation, buying cool products. Warning, this podcast will transform you into a boss. Over 10 billion downloads. Over 10 million lives changed. With your host, Seth, the master of mindset. Failure is a choice, and I choose to never fail. And Lex, the Zen philosopher of life hacking. What if you could do anything? You, but better. Hello, better yous, and welcome to a brand new episode of You But Better. Yeah! Lex, I am so excited to see you today, my friend. It has been a glorious week. It has been absolutely glorious. I feel completely, I feel relaxed, refreshed, and relentless after last week's episode on infinite minimalism. Lex, I have to say, for me, it it was one of the best things that we've ever done because I tend to listen to an episode once or twice just to make sure that the message that I sent, I am also receiving so that I can practice what I preach. Yes. But I had to listen to that episode. It must have been 20, 30 times this week. I probably replayed that episode in my mind's eye between 50 to 500 times. Oh, that is great. That is gorgeous. That is lovely. I'm glad to hear that, my friend. It worked for me on a deep level. However, apparently we cannot say the same for all of our better yous. Some of them had a very negative reaction to infinite minimalism. That's right. And that's okay because every reaction has an equal and opposite reaction. We learned this from Sir Isaac Newton. Absolutely. And our reaction is to take that negativity and turn it into nourishment. Turn it into potential energy, into kinetic energy, into pure liquid plasma energy. That's right, better use. Now, we have so many better use that even a millions, li- millions and millions of better use, even a little bit of negative feedback from 1% of our better use could be a, th- a thousand voicemails that we receive. Yeah. But today, we're going to do something that. Our contemporaries are calling brave. They are calling it brave. It's not something that we do often, but what we are doing is today we are actually going to, for learning purposes only, we are going to focus on the negative. So this episode is all about how to deal with haters, how to deal with negative feedback, and what we're going to do is we are going to play some selected voicemails from our better use who, who reacted, quite frankly, very negatively to infinite minimalism. And we are going to learn from that negativity. That's right. We are listening to you, better use. Dwayne, drop that first voicemail. Hey, this is Billy Ritterson from Mobile, Alabama. And guys, what is going on? I, I drive for a living okay all day i need you guys so that i can be entertained while i deliver amazon packages i don't need something one minute long come on fellas i love you guys don't make me not love you all right oh wait hold on my wife is in labor right now fellas give me one second baby what is it i'm busy Billy Ritterson, thank you so much for that response. Even though it was a negative response, we certainly appreciate your honesty. Now, better use, this is a great beginning of a lesson because Seth and I, we have developed a signature method, a signature you but better method for taking negative feedback. Seth, can you explain that? Yes, I can, Lex. Because when you are taking negative feedback, you can't let it destroy you. You have to be able to lie to yourself. Lie. Listen, interpret, empathize. Thank you, Seth. This is a method that we have pioneered. Seth and I have used this in our personal lives and our professional lives again and again, and it has helped us so much. Now, what this means is that you lie to yourself. Mm. You listen 
for the negative feedback. Yes. You interpret it in a way that it does not harm you. That's really important. And then you empathize with your future self so that the negative feedback doesn't derail your hopes and dreams. Got to look out for number one. That's right. You have to lie to yourself. It all comes back to you in the end. So let's get ready to apply that method to Billy Ritterson. I just listened to the guy, and first I want to say, for a delivery driver, it sounds like you're delivering a baby, and that sounds a little stressful, my friend. Yeah. Now... I can see that maybe you're frustrated that the episode didn't last your entire route, but perhaps your frustration stems from a fear of becoming a new father and what that might mean for you, Billy. Exactly. When I hear Billy Ritterson, I hear a lot of emotion. I hear a lot of passion. I hear a better you who is committed to the process. That's right. And I bet when you heard us say do less last week, all you could think about is how your family is going to need more and more and more from you. But you know what, Billy? It's your pursuit of your own greatness that's going to make you a terrific father. And so when I interpret Billy Ritterson's comment, I realize that it is not a threat to me. I hear the passion coming through. I hear the commitment coming through. And I realize that Billy's not mad at us. He's mad at himself. Yeah, Billy's just frustrated. He doesn't know what he's going to name that baby. Is it going to be Seth Lex Ritterson? Or is it going to be Lex Seth Ritterson? That's quite the conundrum. Now, the next part, and this is so crucial, is you have to listen to the feedback. You interpret Check. it in a way that it doesn't harm you. And then you Check. have to empathize with your future self. So I have to think about mm. my future Lex. Seth has to think about his future Seth. And if I'm honest with myself, the thing is, I can't carry the burden of Billy Ritterson with me everywhere I go. I can't think about how there are millions of Amazon drivers listening to us every day growing themselves, and building themselves up. That's right. Now, I do a ton of squats, but I cannot carry that many Amazon drivers on my shoulders. He does, folks. He does a lot of squats, and you can check out his squat method on his Instagram. But as many times as I might practice Lex's squat method, I also cannot lift the burdens of Billy Ritterson. So I must empathize with myself and let this feedback go. Thank you for the comment, Billy. On to the next better you. Donnie McCarthy, Telford, PA. That was not a podcast. That was a shit cast. And you guys should be shit canned from this self-help podcast community. I was a better you until today. I was doing green tea I was doing a pun a day. I was trying to be more sexual. I was nine weeks sober. I was doing the time management app. Okay. I've got 30 minutes. I don't know what to do with. I'm giving up. Guys, boys, fuck you. Wow. Donnie McCarthy, I can tell that you are angry because our episode on infinite minimalism apparently wasn't long enough for your scheduled self-improvement time. Now you want to give up. First of all, I congratulate you on having scheduled self-improvement time. That is fantastic. Congratulations, Donnie. Everything else about your response, though, does concern me, and I want to reframe it. L, I listened. I listened good. I listened very well to what you had to say. And when I listened past what you had to say, i.e. interpreted, I saw that through everything, there was one line that told me everything I needed to know, and that's what you said. You said, I just want to give up. And you know what, Donnie? It means you're on the right path. That means you're in exactly the right place. Donnie, what I'm going to say to you right now may seem mysterious, but I absolutely want you to listen to these words and do what I say. Listen good. You need to read Joseph Campbell. Read it. You need to read Joseph Campbell because you need to understand the hero's journey. In the hero's journey, you have to hit rock bottom before you ascend that peak to self-actualization greatness. What we have given you is a gift, Donnie. It is an opportunity 
for you to hit that rock bottom and climb that peak. Joseph Campbell. Joseph Campbell. Joseph Campbell would be proud of where you are right now. Where would J. Rao be if after he murdered Osama bin Laden... Killed, not murdered. Killed, killed, thank killed. You, thank you, my bad. Killed. After he killed Osama bin Laden and at his lowest point just said, I'm done, I'm giving it up. No, he went back into the temple, he became a Buddhist monk, and he fights violence every day by being a monk and a peaceful one at that. That's a great example that definitely applies to Donnie. Thank you, Seth. So what I would say is that we need another reframe here, which is that Donnie, we have given you the gift of time. That is the greatest gift of all. Money, you can always make more money. Time, you can never get back. Mm. The gift of time that we have given you is we have given you the opportunity to go back and re-listen to one of our classic episodes. Those are like classic novels. You get more on a second or third or fourth or fifth or even 10th listen than you will get the first time because there is so much subtlety and nuance and layering to those classic episodes. It is unreal. We put so much work and effort into every episode to deliver the message, to deliver the meaning of your life to you. And if you go back into our annals, you will find a wealth of wisdom. A wealth of wisdom. I love that. Seth, what are some of your, what are some classic episodes that you in our back catalog, in our annals, that you would personally recommend that Donnie go back and check out? One that I feel right now, one that comes to my mind right now is Cold Tubbing to Success. That was one of my favorite episodes. I would cold tub with you again. That was a great episode. That was a great episode. We spent the entire episode in a cold tub, and it just, the connection that you and I had. Yeah to ourselves and to each other was priceless. It was an out-of-body experience for me. It was not only an out-of-body experience, but I slept so well that entire week because of the physiological reactions of cold tubbing. You sleep so well when you do that. That was a great episode. Cold tub your way to success. Another episode I really love from our classic archive that I would recommend for you, Donnie, is it's called How to Walk. Oh my God, JT Walker, one of the best interviews we've ever had. He is one of the best walkers in the business. He teaches, he has an online course about how to walk and how to get more out of walking. That was a great episode. Go back and check that one out. Yeah, that that guy just puts one foot in front of the other and he traverses forward. It's it's unparalleled. That's his whole, that's the basis of his whole walking method is you just put one foot in front of them. But the other, which to me is not only pragmatically genius, but is a, such a wonderful metaphor for life. A great t-shirt idea. I mean, we've we've interviewed the Dalai Lama. I've never met anybody sure. who was so locked in to who they were. To his practice, to his practice. 100%. And look, I, I like the Dalai Lama. That is no secret. I yeah, will sing the Dalai Lama's praises until my voice is raw. But that being said, I think our interview with J.T. Walker on how to walk. I think that was a better interview than the Dalai Lama interview. I think so too. No offense and I to the think, Dalai Lama. No, like, offense, no offense to Dalai, to Dalai Lama. Lama. It might actually be more of an indication of our interview skills at the time whenever we interview Dalai Lama, but sure. But obviously we would have Dalai, you're always you're always welcome, my friend. You you're know that. You're always welcome back. Side note to podcasters, if and when you get that interview with the Dalai Lama, make sure you are prepared. Yes, the Dalai Lama has no time for bullshit, he suffers no fools, and uh, but he won't let you feel that way. He won't let you feel that way. Very kind person. Yeah. He conceals his anger well, that's for sure. Another episode I would really recommend for you, Donnie, is called Muay Thai Kickboxing, Your Way to Inner Peace. Oh, wow. I loved that episode. I left the recording studio ready to kick life in the ass. Yes. Ready to kick life in the ass and to be totally at peace with it. I never felt more violent, yet more zen in my life. For a really long time after that episode, I could be seen all across Los Angeles and San Francisco uh, dominating life. You might have seen me in a store dominating life. You might have seen me in the streets. I, I was traveling a lot at that time, so I was ready for it. Yeah. You know, another thing that occurs to me, Seth, is I do wonder if Donnie is deficient in micronutrients. 
Ooh, yeah. Because a lot of times when people have anger management issues, it's because there's actually a chemical imbalance because they are deficient in certain key vitamins and minerals. So I would recommend our classic episode called You Are Deficient. Yes, You Are Deficient was, uh, it was, it was eye-opening for me as well because when we did the research for that episode, we actually found more flaws within ourselves, which, you know, is always really tough for me. Yeah. But you are deficient, uh, Donnie, and, and you could learn from intaking the proper minerals and vitamins. There are lots of, lots of super foods and super microbes that you could be injecting into yourself just to make you less of an asshole. Yeah, those will help you address your emotional deficiencies. So I would definitely recommend read Joseph Campbell, check out the episode on cold tubbing, walking, Muay Thai kickboxing to inner peace, and the You Are Deficient micronutrients episode. Those are some classic ones I would personally recommend for you. And if you know what, you're so mad that you can't even listen to us for a minute, take, you know, take a small break and allow yourself to receive the gift of silence. That says it all, doesn't it? Yeah, you have time to meditate. You have time to grow. And you know what? I just want to say before we let you go, Donnie, never give up on yourself because we believe in you. We believe that you can be the better you you have always been, and you will be a better you till the day you die, Donnie. Thank you, Donnie. All right, Lex, I think I'm, I'm ready to hear the next one. Hey, this is Raj Kumar Singh from Hyderabad, India, and like the last episode was one minute long. What is this, eh? I'm like needing all the inspiration for everything in like only one minute. What is this, fellows, huh? I'm not liking this. Come on. Hey, my friends, we need more than 60 seconds of content. Okay, at least one hour, please. Thank you. Wow. Raj Kabar, is it cool if I call you Raj? I'm going to assume yes. I have a very similar reaction to you as I have to Donnie. And I think this just goes to show that a lot of haters really think alike. Haters are not that original. Haters really aren't uh, very creative people. They are so locked in their hate that they don't know how to create. So it's important for you not to get locked in that mindset, Raj. And that is why it is so important that you check out Be a Creator, Not a Hater. That's right. Our digital course, Be a Creator, Not a Hater, is one of our most affordable courses, A. And B, you know what, Raj, if you have a problem with the price, we'll slip you a little discount code. We'll help you out. We can tell that you're a little frustrated. And C, this is not related to the hater-creator situation. C, yourself in a mirror and look at yourself and examine what's going on. Did you, L, listen to our episode? I, did you interpret what it meant to you or what it was about? And E, did you empathize with yourself? Did you think about, what if I actually did a little bit less? Maybe I did a little bit less complaining. Exactly. Let's see how far that takes you. Exactly. You need to, when you get that anger, you need to lie to yourself using the L-I-E technique and you need to go in our back catalog and listen to our classic episodes. I would also suggest that you may have a micronutrient deficiency or some type of a chronic disease. Yes, we have a whole episode about this. I can't even remember if we told Donnie about this, but You Are Deficient is the name of the episode. Yeah, we did. I think we mentioned that one for Donnie. You are deficient. How to address micronutrient deficiencies. Another good one I would recommend is the episode called How to Cure Cancer. Yeah, How to Cure Cancer with uh, Mother Jaya. Or not Mother Jaya, excuse me. I call her that. You know, we're just so close. Jaya, Jaya the, the energy, energy healer. healer, is one of the best episodes of You But Better. I would like to strongly recommend, Raj, that you check out our digital program, Breathe to Believe. Ooh, yes. Breathe to Believe is one of the top programs that we offer. Just go to breathetobelieve.com. 
and breathe through it, my friend. All these things that you're frustrated breathe about. Breathe through it. It's one of our most affordable programs, and I would strongly recommend it for anyone who's having anger issues. And for anybody who is so obsessed with content, treating us like little content monkeys, we're not monkeys. We're gurus. We're gurus. We're guides. That's right. We're guys. We're buddies. We're friends. We insist that maybe you should listen to our past episode, Content is Cancer. And Content is Cancer tells you about how the content you consume can kill you. It can it can hurt you, and we're asking you to be an artist. We're asking you to be an artist. We prefer, we don't call it content, we call it art. That's right. Our art, our, our art form is to grow our better use. And that's why we say, if you're not going to listen to any other podcast, just listen to us. We aggregate all the best information and we get it to you, the listener. Thank you, Raj. This is Catalina from Poland. You know what? Fuck you. I spent $118,000 last year, 48 of which went to your fucking retreat. I have a $2 million mortgage because I bought a bigger house because I wasn't reading enough books. And now you're telling me to do less? Fuck you. Fuck you. And Dwayne, don't you fucking dare cut this out. Thank you, Catalina from Poland, for being honest, for being authentic, and for demonstrating how you felt in the moment. That was real. It was real. That was real stuff, and we appreciate that. We appreciate it anytime someone is authentic with us. Even if it's something that we don't personally agree with, that's fine because we have the ability to lie to ourselves. That's right. And I'm going to say, Catalina, that I really want to commend you on committing to your self-actualization practice, on spending the 118 k on self-help purchases, including the circling retreat. The fact that you got a bigger house, that's great but there is something you are missing. There is something crucial that you're missing. And Seth, I know you know what that is. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yep. You're talking about abating your anger. Yep. Our digital course designed to keep you from getting to the point of frustration that you find yourself at right now. You're better than this, Catalina. I remember talking to you in Sedona. I remember connecting and I remember thinking, this woman is onto something. This woman is onto something incredible. And that just, that's not the person who's talking to us today. Now, Catalina, I don't personally remember you. However, that is not, um, that does not imply anything negative. Yeah, because that's I not indicative about I you at all. I personally, as a, as a personal practice that I have, I tend to block out memories of people that I'm not going to have business relationships with. That's true. Uh, Lex is very business focused. And a lot of times on these retreats, he's tripping on ayahuasca in service to the podcast and to the experience. The better yous want to be with Lex when he's on ayahuasca. He just spouts out fountains of wisdom. It's it's incredible. I'm really channeling the universe is what I'm doing. And right now I will say you need to get that digital course, Abating Your Anger. Just go to abatingyouranger.com slash better you for a 20% discount, which is only good for the next 24 hours. And by the way, that does come with the bonus PDF, finessing your fury. Yeah, you got to get your fury in check. Once your anger is there, your fury will sometimes peek its ugly little head out to just destroy you and what you stand for. But you know what, Catalina? I want to say thank you for being a true better you. I know a true soldier to the cause you much like Donnie, much like Raj, you might be on the precipice of moving forward on giving up, but this is going to be the moment where you decide, are you the best you you've ever been or can you be better? By the way, Catalina, I also want to point out that there is a additional cheat sheet in that program that if you buy it today, you will also get the reducing your rage a cheat sheet. Yeah, reducing your rage, that is, that's going to come with it, and that's going to be a pretty big deal. Uh, a lot of people skip that one. They think, I've already done the first two. The third thing, it's not just, it's just the cherry on top. A cherry on top is what makes the Sunday a Sunday. That's such a good point. Otherwise, it's just ice cream. 
That's such a good point. I've never thought about it that way. Thanks, Lex. I'm glad that you picked up on that. And finally, I just want to say finally, if you find yourself truly, truly lost, we do have you but better ambassadors across the globe. Yes. So find a Polish ambassador, sit with them, and talk to them about what you're experiencing. And they are accredited to give you the advice that you need to be the best you. Thank you, Catalina. Thanks, Catalina. Do widzenia. Uh, yeah, this is DJ Anonymous from Austin. I actually really liked your episode, Infinite Minimalism, because it wasn't too long. It didn't like take all of Saturday to edit. I mean, uh, no, I mean, it didn't take all of Saturday to, to like to listen to. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Anyway, keep up the good work, guys. Okay, wow. That, I really love that. I really love that a positive one slipped in there. I know we said we were just going to focus on the negative reactions, but to have a positive one in there, and by the way, there were literally tens of thousands of positive reactions. That just uh, really nice to hear. Lex, that, uh, we can't use that. That, that was Why not? definitely Dwayne. Okay. Dwayne, what? No, no, I think that was, I think that was maybe that he said was DJ Anonymous. No, that's definitely fucking Dwayne. Okay. I think there could be a DJ Anonymous. There could definitely be a DJ Anonymous, but it's not my fucking brother-in-law. I can't, that, people are going to hear that. They're going to know that it's Dwayne. We're going to be fucked. I'm not doing this shit. I, Amaranth, bring me my reducing my anger. Can you bring me my fucking hand out, please? Re reducing your rage. Whatever. It has man. to rhyme. It has to rhyme. Uh, it has to it's rhyme. Not even, it's alliteration. It has to rhyme. I, this is alliterate. It has to be alliterative. It has to be alliterative. I need some fucking peanut butter or something. I'm fucking losing it. Breathe. Breathe, Seth. Breathe through it. Breathe. <sighs> I'm not using Dwayne's fucking we, testimony. Okay, Dwayne, could you uh we don't want Seth to be so angry on the on the air, so could you edit it doesn't this look part good. out? Thanks, Dwayne. Yeah, thanks, Dwayne. Thanks a lot. Hi, uh, hi guys, uh, hi Lex, hi Seth, I am such a huge fan, and I just, oh, sorry, <laughs> this is Gene Susanex, I'm in San Francisco, California, uh, I just wanted to say, I think there was a little bit of an issue with the last episode, it was only one minute long, um, I'm not complaining, I'm just, you know, because I'm not really a confrontational person, so I don't really want to, you know, make this seem like I'm complaining or giving notes. But I just wanted to say, if you guys don't give me some fucking more content, I will find you and I will fucking end you. I swear to God, I will fucking cancel you. You fuckers. I, you owe me. You owe me. Wow. Gene, Gene from, from San, San Francisco. Francisco. What a message to send to a couple of guys you obviously look up to. Yeah, Gene, I, I want to give you a very specific message, which is that it's so important for you to understand that our podcast is a lot like all of the digital courses we sell, uncancelable. That's right. Just like the impossibility of canceling our digital course subscriptions, we have an uncancelability level that you cannot even fathom. We're too big. We Our audience is too big. We're too established. We You need to think of us like a juggernaut that can't be stopped. That's right. And if you want to cancel somebody, you usually cancel somebody for doing something wrong. And I listened to that episode last week. I listened to it several times. I told you this. We didn't do anything wrong. That episode was fucking great. It was great. All right. It was great. Pardon the French. Gene, what I would what I would strongly recommend is that instead of trying to cancel us, you cancel your past self that is no longer serving you. We oui, we. Oui. You must cancel that former self because it is holding you back from growing in the ways that you want to. Your docile nature at the beginning was like a trap for us, your heroes, your mentors. But you know what? Lex and I didn't fall into your trap. We're not no. mad. 
We're not no. frustrated. We're probably the most even killed people that I've ever met. And we embrace you. We care about you. And we hope that you get what you came for eventually. And if you want more content, we'll tell you what we told Donnie. We'll tell you what we told Raj. We have thousands of hours of material for free on our You But Better website for you to listen to. And if the free stuff isn't getting you there, it probably won't on its own. You got to buy the courses. Yeah, you have to buy the courses. Better use, look, we're going to be honest with you here. Infinite Minimalism, that episode, which has created such divisive reactions, this was a test. That's right, Better Use. You were tested. You were tested with a brilliant episode. And you might be thinking, how did I fare in this test? Did I pass? Did I fail? Well, I'm here to tell you that if you liked the episode, if you thought it was an interesting episode, or you even learned from it and, and used it to do less in your life, congratulations. You But Better is working. And you are an awesome, better you. And, better use, if you hated the episode and it made you mad or it made you confused or it threw you off your game, then congratulations. You are in exactly the right place. Yes. You need to upgrade your mindset. You need to cancel your former selves. And the way you're going to do it is to keep, keep listening. listening. And if listening on its own isn't enough, remember, lie to yourself. Listen, interpret, and empathize. That's right, Better Use. It's a proven, proven thing. Trust us. We've been lying to ourselves our entire lives. And I think it's worked out pretty great. I would agree with that. And I would say... We are going to empathize with our future selves and your future selves because we will talk to you next week. That's right, Better Use. See you then. And remember, do less. You, but better. Friends, thank you for listening and becoming a better you. And if you haven't followed us on social media yet, you haven't fully committed. Find those social links in the episode description. Also, please rate and review us on your podcast listening app. It helps more people find this podcast and become totally enlightened. And remember, don't just be you, be you, but better.